Hello everyone. Today I would like to share uh, one troubleshooting case just in this week. The problem that is uh, when we use the COP, copy the data buffer based on the UDT structure, copy to the output device interface. The key reason that's because the COP, the COP always likes uh, the same data types. Well, in their help, it says the source and the destination must be the same data type, otherwise unexpected results may occur. So the case that happens, well actually the destination and the source, their data type is the same, but however the structure is a little bit different, but the data causing the problem, I will show this case. So the background information that is uh, in this project, that is uh, compact logics or control logics. So the device that is uh, one remote device, so that EDS file we created by the generic EDS file and this generic module we name it IO device, IP address, assembly instance that all based on the manual from that Ethernet IP device. So in the control tax, it will create this structure. So this output bytes, they all based on the bytes. So totally we set uh, 32 bytes here, no problem. And the unit that is a bytes, based on this uh, device menu, to control this device, the top six bytes that is a command and the following bytes that is a txt. So following that menu, we create one UDT. So from zero to six, that is a byte, and the following structure that is a txt, I leave a 20 buffer to send the txt text to this uh, device. So that is a UDT structure. So based on this UDT, I go to the control text and I create date underscore send. Uh, I create this type name based on this uh, date type, this uh, UDT structure. So after I create this uh, date send, so that is uh, this structure is the same like uh, the manual side. It's the same as um, the manual requires. Uh, from zero to five, the top six, that is a byte, and the following, that is a text. And after we create this, so usually we will use the COP command to copy this tag to the output, copy data underscore send to the this, Ethernet IP device tag name IO device dot O output dot data. So copy to this buffer. That is a generic file that output buffer. So to program this, I go to the main routine. So like this way, data send, and we will use a COP to copy the IO device dot O dot data zero. So the length. The length, that is uh, the number of destination elements here. We start from zero, we copy 26 bytes from this uh, data set. To compare this, a uh, source is the same, data underscore send. I will transfer to a data buffer uh, this tag. So this tag, that is a data underscore output. So I just create a, a byte, it lands 36 lands. It's a pure buffer based on the bytes. Okay, so we download the program. Okay. I create a quick watch here. So from this data sent, we can write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this text, the first text, text 0, that is 6, 7. So what I saw, so when we write this data into this output buffer, this byte buffer should be followed from 0, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this way. 
but however, it doesn't. So I will show this. So that is the data output. It starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But from here, the number 6 and number 7, that is 0. So actually, this text, this 6 right into here, that is the number 8 rather than the 6. That is the problem. So we go to the output, IO device output data is the same, same problem. The number 6 and number 7, that is a 0. So if you don't know the rule of this, it's really hard to find this problem and very easy to cause this problem. Ideally, when we use this COP command, the best way, the source and the destination, their structure and the date type, there must be the same. If it's not the same, it will create the problem like this. To solve this problem, we better separate this to keep the source and destination is the exact the same structure and the same date type. We firstly, we separate this. We firstly write a six bytes from zero to five, that six bytes first. And after that, the sent.text. We separate this. So let me download, let me see. So after we download, the date sent still from zero to five, and the first attacks that is six, and second that is a seven. So this time, let's look at this uh, IO device. We send the byte zero to five, use the one command. We send successfully from zero to five. And then we start from this text zero, send the, from here, and start it from the data, bracket six. So this way is what we want. To compare this, the data output, I didn't change it. So if we watch this, it still have a gap here. So keep in mind, so when we use the COP, the source and destination structure must be the same. Otherwise, it will cause some unexpected problem, especially when you go on site. You thought you can control the device following your mapping or following your drawings. However, when you control this device, actually, it control other things. It will cause a very dangerous issues there. So that is today's topic. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.